And I want to tread lightly here, kind of, because I don't like talking about people's families. But since the family has interjected themselves into the public forum, I'm going to talk about Aaron Rodgers' family because Aaron Rodgers' family now is in the news. And there's a story today that Aaron, quote, is going through great precautions not to make things worse, says a source. That Aaron Rodgers has got his family now coming out in the New York Times and criticizing him, that he's got a big head and that he's not there for the family and he's changed, blah, blah, blah. And I think it's incredibly unfortunate and incredibly needy. And I, I've i never been through this. I had a great family. They have no interest in being marginally famous. So I, I can't relate to this. I cannot imagine having to deal with this before the biggest show of my life. My family criticizing me in the National Enquirer, People Magazine, Entertainment Tonight. It's ridiculous that Aaron Rodgers has to deal with this. I don't feel like talking in great detail about his family because it's his family and at some core, I don't know how appropriate it is, but since his family has lurched into the public conversation, they've done it. I feel more comfortable. Let me say this, is that this all started when his brother Jordan was on uh, one of those shows, like Bachelorette shows. Mm-hmm. And he was apparently dating this girl, or, you know, they're, they're hooking up. And he's he quarterbacked at Vanderbilt and uh, he was on this show, and he looks like Aaron, handsome guy, and he was dating a girl, and his excuse was, well, you don't get to see people off camera. So when you're on camera and trying to build a relationship and you really like somebody, you have to let some of yourself out and some of your warts, and so I talked about Aaron Rodgers. Okay, can I just say this? And I got nothing against Jordan Rodgers. <laughs> And I'm going to say this, and you're going to probably strongly disagree with me, and I'll give you a phone number, and you can yell at me, 877-757-HERD, 877-757-HERD. I think people that go on reality shows are needy, attention seekers, wannabes, and losers. There I said it. You ever seen, like, like Housewives of Beverly <laughs> Hills? Okay, I live five minutes. I work five I minutes from Beverly Hills. Those are not the richest people in Beverly no. Hills. Those are the poorest people in Beverly Hills. They own restaurants. Like, they're married to Harry Hamlin. How oh many big gosh. roles How does he have? How do you know all of this? I'm impressed. Because I've seen it on TV. When you go through Beverly Hills, the richest people are hiding from people. They have a $400 million net worth. You want to know who owns homes in Beverly Hills? Jerry Jones. 17 NFL owners. The richest people in Saudi Arabia. Kings, princes, sheiks. <laughs> Harry Hamlin's not rolling. He's not one of the big players in Beverly Hills. Probably a renter, not an well, owner. It's not the rich people of Beverly Hills. No, it's the housewives. But wh- you know who wants to get attention? People who are wannabes. People who <laughs> want you to think they're big stars. So when you watch the, uh, you know, the Beverly Hills housewives, people in Cleveland probably think, wow, they're <laughs> loaded. They're the poorest people in Beverly Hills. The rich people have dignity, have, are too busy to go on stupid reality shows. So they get the wannabes and the attention seekers. That's what you see. Do you think real formidable families want to be on wife swap? It's people that want to be recognized and need the cache, <laughs> that need the lettuce. So if you're going on a reality show, I have immediate, immediately less respect for you. Well, there are. So- let's just be fair. There are some reality shows that are okay. Name them. I need to think about it. But Name really, one. There really are. There are some that are like meant to help people. Like there's a dog show where you know Caesar Milan goes out and helps the family's dog. That's nice. Oh, that's not a reality show. Well, it is. The dogs don't have a speaking role. They don't even have a <laughs> that, barking that role. That depends who you ask. That's that's a that's a trainer. That's just a different. I mean, reality show is when people go on and let a camera into their lives. Okay, that kind. Okay. I agree with you. When people go in and do this, okay. When people go in and do this, every time I watch a reality show, I have no respect for the people on it. So you can go ahead and tell me about Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has worked very hard to be great at his job. Jordan Rodgers didn't work that hard. That's why he's not in the NFL. Now, he's good looking. He's a bright kid, probably have a smart family. But when you got your brother here talking about family secrets and the excuse is, well, you know, I mean, when you go on these shows, why did you go on that show? If you work harder, you'd be a quarterback. You wouldn't be having to go on a bachelorette show. So the people that go on those shows are wannabes. They're the attention seekers. They're not the richest people in Atlanta, the coolest people in Beverly Hills, the players in Orange County. 
like Mob Wives. You ever see that show? Yes. Oh, train wrecks. Oh, God, those are, come on. You're impressing me with your reality TV knowledge. Yeah, because I unfortunately have people in my family who watch that junk. And they're uh-huh. like, they're fat. And I'm always like, you do realize it's fake. The, the, the biggest people in Orange County, they're not going on the housewives. Of, they'd be like, honey, you're not going on that show. I've got an $18 billion corporation. Don't put a camera in our house because I got my accountants in the house every other day. And I'm talking about private business. and I don't have time to be an actor. It's people who want to promote things. Wannabes. Mm-hmm. Weirdos. Attention seekers. There's another word for attention seekers. You know what that is? Fame peeps. You know what they call attention seekers. You know what the other word. I just said it. Yeah. So it's just like the reason Jordan Rogers ends up having to say stuff is because he chose a, a, a an a, attention seeking show. If you work harder at football, you won't have to go on those shows. Oh, God, it's just maybe rid- he really. Loves Aaron Rodgers has the biggest game of his career, and he's dealing with this junk. This is what the junk that Aaron Rodgers has to deal with. His family calling him out? It's weak.